In today's episode of the Trail Guide series, I introduce you to the Grizzly Lake Trail in Yellowstone National Park, which leads to a hidden gem under a regenerating forest ridge burned in the 1988 fires. The trailhead to Grizzly Lake is 6.5 miles north of the Norris Geyser Basin intersection on the main road loop. To find it, park at the pullout 200 feet past the sign to Grizzly Lake and follow a gravel path that runs parallel to the road above. The uh, trail I found out here after picking up some bear spray Fittingly and possibly tempting fate is a uh, grizzly lake. So I've got uh, bear spray with me and just gonna be cautious make sounds Just do all the stuff that you do uh, when in grizzly country avoid surprising some bears looks like a pretty beautiful place So let's uh, go go explore this trail This rocky trail eventually turns into a dirt path entering an open prairie filled with the remnants of old forests Lost in the fires that burned 36 percent of the park in 1988 the year I was born Signs of life forming from the aftermath of the fire surround you as you hike through the prairie. really love the diverse assortment of habitats that we have out here going from kind of those mountain conifer forests into the, the lowland sagebrush and this burn zone where all these trees burned some decades ago and you can just see all this amazing lush vegetation growing out the last couple of videos i talked a little bit about forest fires and this is a, a great example of the restoration of the landscape as nature retakes hold after what appears to be complete devastation After passing through the prairie, the trail turns steeply uphill and using switchbacks works its way up a ridge that also burned to the 88 fires. Look at those textures on that tree. Just those incredible lines going up and down, the way they match the branches. Super, super cool. Love that. On these uphill sections, the trail turns rocky, requiring some careful foot placement. Well, I think the, uh, the aftermath of being very sick from the tooth infection means that I'm a little bit out of shape. And there's definitely a decent amount of uphill on this trail, but should be worth it. The, the path alone is gorgeous. Super excited to see the lake when I get there. I think 
that's a marmot. <laughs> yeah, nifty. See, that's the thing about being in grizzly country is that you're kind of hyper vigilant. And so you see a little brown thing moving around and you're just like, oh no, it's a grizzly bear. But no, that thing's uh, walking on the rock and has a very, very long tail and very much looks like a kind of big fat yellow belly marmot. So I'd say that's uh, not a grizzly. <laughs> False alarm. There's a certain kind of beauty in western areas regrowing from past fires. A temporary new world with beautiful grasses and small conifers growing from the rich soil. Animals of all kinds also abound in these areas. Elk tracks. As you follow the trail on the ridge top, a gap eventually reveals itself before the trail goes steeply downhill and you're gifted by the immense beauty of Grizzly Lake. The trail continues to the lake shore, but it was late and I was alone in Grizzly Country, so settled for the amazing view. Absolutely love the feeling of hiking through some hard stuff in somewhat dangerous country where there are grizzly bears around and yelling your throat out. But then you get to a place like this, this beautiful golden lake that's somehow made even more beautiful by the smoke, just kind of creating this ethereal reflective surface. That is just awesome. Yellowstone is an amazing place when you can get away from all the people. And I hope to uh, get to a few other cool places over the next couple days. I continue to film through the park on my way uh, back to visit my parents in Eastern Montana. And who knows where the journeys will go from there. <laughs> Got that on camera. <laughs>